Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain, sang the Cascades in 1962, and it's been raining in South Australia continuously for what appears to be almost a month. So yesterday the state opposition made a new pitch on the state government to remove water restrictions in Adelaide. Liberal water spokesperson Mitch Williams says the restrictions are not needed, with River Murray storages at 50% capacity for the first time since 2002. Last year they were at 20%. But the government won't lift the restrictions just yet. It plans to wait till the $2 billion desalination plan comes online, and then the Premier might announce open slather. Good politics, but not necessarily good policy. River Murray management is about politics, not policy, as we saw during the election campaign. So now the two major parties can hardly complain, although we might, that one of the independents being courted by Liberal and Labor thinks that both majors' policy on the Murray is a crock. Bob Catter, the Maverick MP from North Queensland, says the Murray is just a piddling stream with less water than just one of the many rivers in his North Queensland electorate. And that's quite true. Water there may be, but the climate and soil won't support growing oranges, grapes, almonds or cotton, and we've seen the failure of growing rice in the Ord River scheme. Australia needs to rely less on the River Murray-Darling Basin, that's for sure, but you can't switch off a century of riverland farming in the term of one government. Other independents are less ratty than Catter, but the next government, whichever party it is, will spend more time appeasing the independents than worrying about the future of the riverland or lower lakes. That's politics, not policy. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain, sang the Cascades, and the next line, telling me just what a fool I've been. Welcome back to Canberra, Bob Catter.